I'm sharing six delicious vegetarian dinner ideas in today's video. Jennifer here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. I have such an exciting video for you today. I am sharing six vegetarian dinner ideas. These are so delicious. They can also be converted to vegan options as well. And there's gonna be something here for everybody. I cannot believe that I'm about to say this, but this is a collaboration with one of the most illustrious chefs in the entire world. You've probably heard of him and his name is Wolfgang Puck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. April Fool's. It's April Fool's Day today. <laughs> Did I get you? Did I get you? Okay. No, I'm not collaborating with Wolfgang Puck, but I'm collaborating with somebody who is equally as good as Wolfgang Puck, in my humble opinion. And that is my wonderful friend, Robin from Faith and Flower. Robin and I collaborated on our last Dinners of the Week video on six dinners we make when we don't feel like cooking. So you have to see that video. And today, Robin is also going to be making six vegetarian dinners, meatless meals. So not Wolfgang Puck, but seriously, just as good. So <laughs> I'm going to leave Robin's information down below. Happy April Fool's Day. I hope I got you. All right. So in today's video, we are going to be doing vegetarian tostadas, veggie burgers, sweet potato fry nachos. So good. Thai peanut noodles, Caribbean black beans with tropical fruit salsa and bruschetta. Now I've argued with Ben about how to pronounce that. Some people say bruschetta, some people say bruschetta. So which one is it? Do I have any Italian viewers? Can you please let me know in the comments down below? Let's get started right now with the very first dinner, the vegetarian tostada. Okay, this dish is so easy to make. You can make it with whatever you have on hand. And I'm going to show you what I did here. So I'm taking some whole wheat tortillas and just glazing them with some oil. I used olive oil. And you're going to bake these in the oven for a few minutes. Of course, all of the recipes for everything I'm sharing are going to be linked in my corresponding blog post down below. So you're gonna to toast those in the oven. And once they're there, on top of that, you will add refried beans that have already been cooked and heated. Then you're going to top that with some shredded cheddar cheese and I pop that back in the oven just for a few minutes so the cheese can melt, but you don't wanna leave it in for too long. You don't want it to get rubbery. After that, it's all about the toppings. So I place some black beans on top. These have been cooked, of course. And now I'm adding various vegetables and fruits because you know, I'm kind of weird like that. I like to add fruit to everything. So here I have some red bell pepper and some mango, we're also adding some chopped cilantro, some chopped green onion, some pico de gallo, and guacamole. So as you can see, these are really customizable. You could put whatever toppings you like on there. I know the mango is a bit unconventional, but I love putting fruit in things, as you will see in the rest of the video. But the main thing here is that you want the texture of the tortilla to be nice and crunchy, and then the beans to be sort of soft with the juxtaposition of the bell peppers, Think about that and all the tastes that can meld together. This is really easy. It's a crowd pleaser and um, it's a delicious vegetarian meal. Okay, next I had to add a classic veggie burger to my vegetarian dinners. And you know what? These are really nice because veggie burgers have come a long way. You can of course make them yourself, but you could also buy them already made at the grocery store, which makes life even easier. And so I'm just using veggie burgers from Sprouts here. And what I'm doing is getting a whole wheat bun that's been toasted. I'm just placing some mayonnaise on top of that and also some gray Poupon. Do you have any gray Poupon? I always have to say that every single time. <laughs> Next, I'm adding my veggie burger, which you can bake in the oven or put on the grill, either one. And this time I use pepper jack cheese on top that's slightly melted. And then here come my toppings. And this really is all about the toppings. So I'm putting a nice slice of sliced red onion, some tomato, some apple. I'm telling you, I like to add crispy fruit to everything. I'm also adding some bean sprouts and pickles. And this is so delicious, honestly. I gave this to Ben, who's super skeptical about veggie burgers, and he said it was so good because of the toppings. It really made it. 
And on the side here, I am serving it with some sweet potato fries. Those are from the freezer. Of course, you can also make your own. And the dipping sauce I'm using is this ranch dressing from Yo Mama's Foods. And it's so good. Honestly, I'm sharing two dressings in this video with you that are delicious. They're ranch dressing and later on their sesame dressing. I will leave the Yo Mama's salad dressings down below, but they're really good and the ingredients are clean. So this is such a good meal and it's easy on the pocket. Veggie burgers are less expensive than meat burgers. And sometimes you just feel like having a really solid veggie burger. Okay, the next meal might've been our favorite. It was definitely my children's favorite. They absolutely devoured this. And this is sweet potato fry nachos. So I'm taking some sweet potatoes here that I have peeled and chopped, and I like to use this little wavy chopping machine. Um, it gets it into a cute little shape. So I'm chopping all of my sweet potatoes, and then I am going to make these in the air fryer. You can also bake them in the oven if you like, or even fry them, deep fry them, but I'm trying to go a little bit healthier here. So we're doing the air fryer, and I'm preparing these like I would French fries, although I don't have to soak the sweet potatoes like I do the regular potatoes. So I'm adding some paprika, some garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, and some oil to this. I will have the recipe down below and I'm baking them according to my air fryer instructions. Once they're made in the air fryer, I'm now putting them on a baking tray and we're going to put the toppings on top of this. So I'm adding to this some already cooked black beans, some shredded cheddar cheese, and I'm going to melt that in the oven until the cheese is melted. On top of this, I'm putting some barbecue seitan. You don't have to do this, but if you wanna add a little bit of protein, you can. It mimics meat and some vegetarians and vegans like to use that. It was pretty good. And then on top of that, we're going with more toppings. It's all about the toppings with all of these things. So I have some chopped cilantro here. I have some shredded carrot some chopped onions, chopped red onions. I have some green onions as well. And I top it with pico de gallo and guacamole. And honestly, this is so delicious. I absolutely love it. And this time I'm serving it with a salad with the Yo Mama's Asian sesame dressing. This dressing right here, this dressing right here is the best bottled dressing I've ever had, honestly. It's so good. So if you are someone who wants to eat more salads, but you don't wanna make your own homemade dressing all the time, and you like an Asian sesame dressing, this is the best one. So again, I'm gonna leave it linked down below. It's absolutely fabulous. This was so good and the whole family loved it, but especially the kids, and they get a lot of veggies when they eat this. So I highly recommend this meal. All right, the next meal I'm sharing with you are Thai peanut noodles. very easy to make and really delicious, especially if you're feeling like having an Asian inspired meal. So what I'm using is some honey, sesame oil, sesame seeds, soy sauce. I have some, again, chopped cilantro, chopped green onions. I feel like that's my favorite combination. Lime juice, garlic, peanut butter, and chopped peanuts. And so this is what we're going to use to make this dish. Now I'm using something called healthy noodle. I picked this up at Costco. You could use whatever type of noodle you want. You could probably even use spaghetti for this um, or any type of rice noodle. A pad thai type noodle would be totally fine. So I'm preparing my noodles and then in the blender, I'm going to put everything in. So I put in the peanut butter and the honey and the soy sauce and all of those ingredients, including the sesame oil, the lime juice, everything, even the garlic. And I'm going to blend this up so that it's nice and smooth. Then I'm gonna put my cooked noodles in a pan and put that delicious peanut sauce all over it and just cook it a little bit on the stove to get all those flavors in there. And then I add it to my platter here and I top it again with the toppings and I go liberal on the chopped cilantro and the chopped green onions. And I like to add some crushed peanuts on top and that adds an added texture. Of course, be careful with people with peanut allergies could not have this dinner, but this is so delicious. It's really good. It makes a lovely vegetarian dinner. The next dinner is Caribbean black beans with tropical fruit salsa. This 
This one is really easy to do. You can either make your black beans from scratch and I can leave a recipe on the best way to do that. Or you can just use canned black beans. If it's one of those nights where you just don't feel like cooking, you haven't prepared, take some of those canned black beans out of your prepper pantry and make them. So what you're going to be doing is sauteing some onion and of course i'll leave the recipe down below and you can add your already cooked black beans to this as well as some organic no salt seasoning i'm adding some cumin seeds and some salt i'm just adding flavors that i would like to have in the beans mix that all together you're also going to add some orange juice to this to give it that kind of caribbean kick now we're going to make the tropical fruit salsa. This is one of my favorite things to do. You know I love to do this with fish, so I love making um, that Moroccan tilapia with the mango salsa, so good. So in this case, I'm actually using chopped papaya and chopped mango. I know it all looks like the same fruit, but the papaya was kind of the same color as the mango, it was weird. So chopped papaya, chopped mango, some chopped red onion, chopped red bell pepper, my favorite, cilantro, and uh, green onions some tomatoes and lime, and you just put this all together and mix it up good. Honestly, you can make a batch of tropical fruit salsa at the beginning of the week and put it on everything throughout the week, whether you have fish or, or not. All right, so now I made some steaming white rice in the rice cooker and I'm adding my beans on top of that and just liberally topping it with this delicious tropical fruit salsa and having some avocados on the side. And this is a very satisfying dish. The kids really like this one as well. And this is an affordable one too. So beans are always so frugal, but yet satisfying. Okay, finally, we are going with the bruschetta. bruschetta. I don't know. I was saying it to Ben and he told me I was saying it wrong. And I said, I'm saying it like the Italians say it, which is bruschetta. Is that right? <laughs> anyway, I think he thought I was being pretentious. So let us know how you say it down below. Either way, it's fine. So this is a delicious meal and really it's an appetizer, but you could make it a main dish. I served it with a salad and so there was no protein with this dish. And honestly, it would have been better if I served this with a bean soup or something like that. So I'll keep that in mind for next time. Basically, I take a baguette and I cut it up. And then this is really key. You get a garlic clove and rub it on both sides of the bread. That gives it a garlic essence. That's really key to this dish. Then you're gonna brush it with some olive oil and pop it in the oven. Not too long, you don't wanna burn them, but just until they're toasty. Next, you're gonna chop up your tomatoes, your basil, your garlic, and you're going to add some extra virgin olive oil as well as some nice balsamic vinegar to this. With some salt and pepper, I will leave the recipe down below. Mix it all together and you can top your toasted bread with that. This is so good. I absolutely love this dish. It's really filling because of the bread. Again, there's no protein in this, so it'd be nice if you served this with uh, perhaps a bean soup, like a navy bean soup or something, or some minestrone soup. That would be really delicious. And finally, I just served it with a salad with that Yo Mama's Ranch dressing. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed my vegetarian meatless dinners. Don't forget to check out Robin's video. I can't wait to see what dinners she comes up with. She has the best ones always. So thank you so much for joining me here. If you're coming over from Robin's channel, I would love if you subscribe to The Daily Connoisseur and you could be a part of our chic family here. All right, everyone, keep calm and remain classy, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.